Start first with an opening statement from Coach Tierney, and then we have a couple of questions for Trevor and Connor. So, Coach. Yep. First of all, congratulations to Marquette. You know, two years in a row, and uh, I thought they just out toughed us today. Um, you know, our guys played hard, but uh, we were just uh, uncharacteristically making mistakes that we never make, and uh, that's got to be credit to Marquette. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll regroup and. Uh, you know, get a spot in the tournament, and you know now we're, you know, we just have to wait to see what happens. But uh, again, it was a, you know, Marquette team who we beat pretty handily five days ago, and they found a resolve to come out and, and get us. Kyle, David inside the cross. Uh, this is a question for both of you guys. Um, what did they change uh, from the last game to kind of affect <laughs> what you guys wanted to do? Uh, at your respective positions in the game? Um, yeah, I uh, felt like much tougher on the wings. Felt like they really uh, went after ground balls. Um, Zach, credit to Zach. He's a great face-off guy. Uh, he's a good guy. Um, yeah, I, I think that I, I didn't really analyze the situation well. Um, felt like they were kind of, they kept doing the same thing and I didn't, make adjustments quick enough. So, um, but yeah, I think they had a lot of heart on the wings. Yeah, they just played uh, tougher on defense. They pushed out and tried to get us out of our comfort zone with, uh, with trying to get the ball around. So, I mean, it, it was a difference, but at the end of the day, we just came out and uh, weren't tough enough, didn't get enough ground balls. And that's just the way uh, the game went. And, I mean, it's it's tough to lose two years in a row to them in the Big East tournament, and it's it's not a good feeling at all. I hate losing any game, especially now at the end of the season coming up. So we're gonna regroup, and whatever happens, it's gonna be we're gonna fight until the very end. Connor, being one of the older guys on this team, did you have any words for your teammates following a tough loss like today? Uh, not yet. I haven't addressed them personally. Uh, I'll, we'll bring it together when we get back in Denver or wherever we are for the next couple of days, and uh, we'll talk about it and figure out what, we, what went wrong and correct it moving forward because wherever we go, whoever we play, we're going to come back tougher and stronger and Hopefully we can learn from this and move forward, and because this is this is what really counts now. Coach, uh, it seemed like you guys had a lot of uh, success attacking top down when you switched uh, in the sort of in the second quarter. Um, driving the alleys and hitting cross passes. Uh, is that something that, you know, you, you went in as like a, a plan B that was working that wasn't the rest of the, your kind of spread offense wasn't producing or is, is that just something that That's you adjusted to? That's what we do, you know, our, our, we're, we're, our offense is based on dodging hard and ball movement. And we, we were, again, uncharacteristically not doing that today. Um, and again, you know, obviously it's during the game you're trying to, what went wrong? What went wrong? Well, what's going wrong? But it, you know, again, it has to do with what Marquette did. They kind of fake sliding a little bit and driving us to a weak end. We we've seen all these things a thousand times before. You know, bottom line is last when we played them five days ago, we were 16 for 16 on shots on goal. Today, their goalie makes 12 saves, and that's a, that's a that's a lot of difference right there. You know, um, but you know. Clearing 22 out of 28 and going off sides the way we did, I I didn't think that the uh, the face off the face off thing, you know, we we've seen it all and it's just uh, it's when it when it doesn't go your way you you, you get a little worried obviously but uh, you know it, our offense had its chances you know they, their goalie made some good saves and. Uh, you know, we were uncharacteristically beat from behind. We never get beat from behind today. I think they had five from behind. Um, and we just didn't pay attention to little details. And you're not, if you don't do that, you're not going to win.
Uh, both teams utilized a lot of uh, picks in their offense. They threw a ton of, uh, like I would say, fake fader picks at, at you guys. Um, what was kind of your, the message to the defense, like in between the breaks, to, to well, kind I of address that? I thought we handled theirs pretty well until that last one at the end. You know, we we get back to eight to eight, and I thought we were, uh, I thought we were, despite not playing well, I thought we were going to be okay at that point. Um, and then, uh, you know. Number 77, to his credit, you know, backdoors us for a cut that we talked about for the last two days in practice, for today before the game, today at halftime, and, you know, guys fell asleep. And, uh, and when you fall asleep against a team that kind of shops the way they do, they don't dodge, they just kind of roll back and they're looking, looking, looking. And, and when you do that, um, you know, you're going to get, they're going to get layups. And, and they did, and they, they canned them. And we didn't, you know, we had, three or four shots on the crease that, that they had, and they canned theirs, and we didn't ours. Coach, does a game like this kind of illustrate how competitive the conference is in a tournament like this when it's four teams back against the wall? Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, uh, Marquette, they lost some weirdly tough games. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know what's going to happen out here now or what's going to happen on Saturday, but they lost by a goal to each of those teams. and. You know, kind of watching the film, you kind of felt like, whoa, you know, is this the, if this is the fourth place team, you know, we got something going on here. Um, and and to, to, you know, to Chris's credit here at, at Providence, he's done a great job with this program and they might have run out of a little steam at the end there, but they, they were, they, they represented us really well. Um, and certainly Villanova with their win over, over Maryland and their, and their win the other day against Providence shows just how good the league is. You know, we've, uh, um, you know, we, we rely on Trevor and Connor far too much. And, and uh, usually the other guys stepped up, step up. But today we had some guys that are normally doing really well get shut down. And again, that's credit, credit to Marquette. But the league is, is doing well. You know, some of these other leagues, they're great. But they play each other and win and lose. And they get credit for, for just the win. You know, and uh, here we are beating the heck out of each other, and uh, you lose a game like we did today, and and you know all of a sudden we're going to probably drop from two to six or seven, and and it's the way it goes. But it is a great league, and it's a great group of coaches. Um, you know, first class people. The kids that play play really hard, and uh, you're going to lose once in a while.